Welcome back everyone to Balefire Blues. I'm your host, Balefire Mocha Lover, which this is not where we left off yesterday, but it's fairly close. Basically there was an update in which I had to basically replay the campaign, but this mod so fast doesn't even matter. So we just did Institute Emergency Powers, but now we have to figure out what we're going to do next. Are we going to clean the swamp? Maybe. Do some industrial reforms or get some military reforms. I kind of, ooh, power armor, raptor cloud ships. We do have some comms to go through as well. I do sort of want to get to this. We get some more daily army XP game, which could be very, very good. Goop army center, Goop army north. Industrial reforms sound like a very good thing to get, so let's go with that. Our industry is hardly in any state to support our great army. It is crucial that we expand it and gear it towards military production. We should. And we still have a negative amount of political power, but oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Silent Knight. Oh, Silent Knight. What do you have for us? Nimble Leader? Nah, Cunning Leader? Oh, well, I can kind of go along with that one. Let's do that one and do Cunning Leader. That's okay with me. And Unity Declare War on Splendid Valley. So, we are here. And what do we have to use? Oh, well, we're actually looking quite good on a lot of stuff here. And for us, requisitioning? Good. So we get some better consumer goods, a little bit less research speed, but we get more factory output. In the interest of supporting our military endeavors, we shall begin seizing supplies intended for the civilian sector. We shall also divert civilian production and industry to benefit our military instead. For, so I can't exactly remember which technologies we've already done here. So it'll be as close as I can possibly get. Yeah, I, I just can't remember exactly what specifically we've already chosen, but, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Next. Oh, and these guys are killing each other? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is the... Oh! Uh, we're doing this. Hopefully this war lasts for quite a while because I do want to clean the swamp. And this way we can attack one as the other one is dying. So that actually would be very, very good for us. Alright. Let's see. We got quite a few time, quite a few days. So after that, we'll just do clean the swamp. A swamp surrounds our surface outpost. Our scouts report that it is inhabited by tribalistic barbarians that spend their time performing rituals and worshipping idols. It should be no difficulty to clear them out and seize swamplands for, of course ourselves. Impulse requisitioning will be very good to make more guns because we're going to need a lot of guns to help put down resistance. Regardless, let's, let's get some, some comments. So, one of the comments said that I should play as Millennium Dawn in Hoi 4 as China. You know, I've not touched Millennium Dawn probably since 2017 or even 2018 at the time of this recording, so yeah, why not? I, I want to get into that, but I'm really not sure what to use, who to use in terms of like divisions and stuff like that. Ever since like they had emerged with the modern day mod, I have no idea how to play Millennium Dawn. But regardless, another guy once said that we should use Raptors because apparently Raptors are very, very good. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. And I'm thinking these guys are doing quite well. I might can. Eh, I don't know. Oh, you guys got encircled. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Uh, plan Operation Cauterize. <clears throat> Operation Cauterize shall be our grand return to the surface with an intent to reclaim Equestria from the mutant creatures that now occupy it. A great deal of planning and preparation must be first done, though, as to ensure that Operation Cauterize is conducted as, with as much efficiency as possible. So, what do we have here? We have hi Hide Lightbringer status. Deployment Ponies. We will gain 8 deployment points this month. Huh, okay. 24 deployment points available. Deployment points are a measure of how many resources and ponies from above the clouds can be dedicated to military action on the surface. Common energy weapon, we get more pony power. I kind of like getting this stuff. I would like more civilian workshops, so, just so that we can start building stuff. Factory-wise, we're doing okay. Like, I think we're doing all right. <clears throat> so, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens first. You guys stop training. And I want to see what happens down here f first, before we make any sort of move. I think it'd be best just to wait. Because whoever's winning, we'll attack them. Because they're pushing around. These guys digging into it over there, so we gotta keep an eye on that. Three days left. Not bad, not bad. Concentration of force. Let's grab some rapid deployment, of course. Nice. The longer we wait, the better it is for them to kill each other off. Uh, let's go and grab some local workspaces. That's very good to get. More output, please. Yeah, honestly, like, if we don't have to attack, and these guys just keep killing each other off, that's great. That's fine with me totally fine. Resistors. We're going to grab some smoke signals next for some more reinforcement. Oh. Oh. Now these guys up here are doing better, but they're just coming right back in. I love it when the enemies are killing each other. Yeah, these guys will probably lose. I'm going to... Oh! Oh, they just lost their capital, though. 
They just lost their capital, but regardless, let's get some more arms workshops off map. A few more factories can go a long way towards helping supply our military. Absolutely. Shadow Reef declare one Leslie Raiders, huh? A little different, alright. And who can we choose here? Have we chosen anybody? Did we choose anybody in the last episode? I don't think we did. Angry at the world, okay. Less defense, more attack. Less political power, more division speed. Alright, alright, not bad. Warmonger. Political power, eh, that seems okay. It's only point one. Lose political power. Best just by war goes times. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Well, regardless, I will be right back real quick first. Alright, everyone, so we got the thing done, the focus, and now we're taking a look at the casualties and, well, military of the opponents here. They're fairly equal, except this side might have a few more divisions, and they lost quite a few less soldiers, so Hayseed Walkers are looking a little bit stronger, and they're right here. I think it's time for us to go to war with them. Army Group Center, Army Group North, Scour the Wasteland, Divert Troops to the Army Groups. Oh, another research slot. I kind of need an extra research slot. Oh, but we get one there immediately. So, research group Tartarus. In the interest of furthering our technological advancement, a think tank consisting of the brightest and most loyal scientists within the nation will be assembled. This think tank shall be referred to as a think research group Tartarus and will be entrusted with heeding or hitting, heading military research. It's time to go, my friends. It's time to go and put these people down. Well, they're also destruction. Zealous war warriors, the war chief, tribal militia, slave traders, division in the swamps. It's time to go. Roll out. And we should do relatively okay-ish. Well. Whee! There you go. Go right on ahead. Should do relatively okay-ish. Cool. Other uh, comments. Someone said or asked, is it not possible to go Dashite in this episode or this campaign? I, I don't really know. Maybe not. Perhaps not. So... Your guess is as good as mine. Obviously, we didn't get too many options for going down the dashite path, so I might even be saying that wrong, and someone will probably could, will correct me in the comments below, but I really don't know. <clears throat> but someone else also said that I should consider doing a general tornado run as this nation. Yeah, I will eventually. I will. I, I honestly probably will, so. We'll see what happens. If just Time is limited, like always. Time is always limited, so... We'll definitely see what happens. Navarro's looking pretty good. We're attacking like crazy. Maybe we should stop attacking like crazy. Yeah, let's go and stop attacking like crazy. Alright, so over here, let's go and reform our line because it's not looking too good over here. New Horseians? Is that supposed to be New Orleans? Huh. I want you. Well, let's get our guys all situated first. We're losing a couple guys here. Let's get some more decryption. Y'all, please don't attack like that. Come on, stop, 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 stop. You're hurting yourself. We can't afford you to hurt yourself. And if you want to help bust these guys out, that's fine with me. Bust them up. Great. Not bad. Free repair, factory repair. Not bad, too. But let's grab some armor group center. As part of Operation Cod, Rod, semi autonomous armor groups will be established to secure regions outside our borders. We must ensure that they are best prepared to carry out this task. Well, we've already gone ahead, so. <clears throat> Decode signals, not bad. Very nice. And you guys get down over here as fast as possible. Oh, and make sure you're not guarding other enemy territory. That's very good. No upgrades yet, which we haven't gotten into too many battles yet, so I'm not too worried about it. But I am worried about getting cut off. Oh. Well. I guess we're completely surrounded now. We gotta break for the capital then. Well, this ain't good. This is very, very, very not good. You gotta head on back. Power armor, you gotta force the attack. And actually, if I'm, we're not even using planes yet. My bad. There we go. Now we're gonna be using some of these raptors. Now this should give us overwhelming attack. Everyone branch out. <clears throat> Good. You guys go down there. Oh god, you gotta get down here too now. Are you kidding me? We still might win. Oh, bad harvest. Our recent harvests have been nothing but disastrous. Each year, our crops have produced less and less food for us and our ponies. As a result, we are slowly starting to question how we're going to sustain our nation going forward. Thanks to our ongoing propaganda campaign, our ponies are still loyal to our cause, and the government already has laid out plans to deal with a looming famine. All we need to do now is have our faith in our leaders. Will we make it through this? Not good. Not, not good. Keep everyone in place. Uh, we lose stability. I don't like that. Eh, seems okay. Not really worth it. Deco signal's good. Just let the power armor go and we'll do okay. Organized agriculture? Yes, please. We might get encircled. Come on. Oh, wait, where, where's the capital? Oh, they took us back? Oh, that's not good. 
Come on. Well, we overran somebody here, which is good. So, good. Beat him up. Beat him up. More divisions to add to the line. Great. Just cut through here, guys. Just cut on through. All right. So, oh my gosh, we have to get all the way over there now. Holy cow! How much do we have to take? Not that much more, which is good. Which is very, very good because we can't deal with all this type of resistance and such. Oh, come on, come on. Military Research Initiative. Additional resources will be allocated towards expanding our scientific capabilities. That's to ensure our soldiers only have the most advanced equipment possible. Brutal, brutal repression. Wow. I'm going to go with Pegasus Settlement because we get more compliance. Because we could probably release it. Ah, Enclave Land Appropriations. We could probably do that one. Militia, there you go. That's probably for the best, honestly. You've got to take this area. You've got to. These guys are actually cut off, which is really nice, actually. Where the heck are you going? Good. I'm having four research slots. About to have five is great. But we're looking okay. Let's grab some improvised tools as well. Come on. Oh, we got... That should be it. That should be it, right? Oh, my goodness. That's not it. Are you kidding me? How is that not it yet? Well, let's grab flexibility movement, because that's pretty good. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Do not allow them to link up. That's good. Okay, we got him. Woo! Nice. Now, that's not going to be looking good. New Mango. Mango Town. Awesome. Over here, what do we have? Nation Builder. Civilian, inf civilian infrastructure. I like more stability and political power. Is that really worth getting, though? Angry... Eh, we already kind of looked at this off... Well, before I faded and faded out. Wonderbolt Officer. Infantry leader is not bad. Kind of like that one. Peaceful and prosperous. Enclave conscription. Quick wing. It's not bad. I kind of like this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one for now. He's a diplomat. Slightly more stability is always good. Now we get 0.75 political power every day. Not ideal, but it'll work. It'll work, you know. And we have enough infantry equipment, so I'm not feeling too bad about maybe doing this. Garrisons? Oh, they're only... I don't know how weak they were. Yeah. That's not good. That's really not good. No wonder it took our guys quite a while to get stuff done. Hopefully we can core stuff, though. That would be super important to do. Uh, just, 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 just. The Everfree Dogs will be driven to a frenzy to attack against Red Eye once we begin Operation Cauterize. Do we get cores or anything, maybe? Please? No? Non-core... That's li Oh, that's literally it. Oh, man. This reminds... Oh, I guess this is quite literally... Oof. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else we can do except try to raise up our compliance, I guess. Cloud logistics, less supply stuff, which is nice. Um, okay, more compliance would be very, actually very, very good to get. So let's do Army Group North. As part of Operation Cauterize, semi-autonomous army groups will be established to secure regions outside our borders. We must ensure that they are prepared to carry out this task. Five research slots. Very good. Yeah, we definitely need them. Uh, I'm going to go and grab dogs. Hopefully we can make those eventually. We still don't have any factories, which sucks. Oh, man. Organized agriculture is nice. Let's go ahead and grab... Can we grab that? Yeah, public projects. We need more output immediately. We're not looking too bad. Obviously, we need more airships, but that's fine. You guys hold. You guys were did a tremendous job. Tremendous. Oh, add infantry divisions, huh? At the start of Operation Codrise, Armored Group Center will spawn with four, four divisions, one power armor division. They're not going to spawn with a lot, are they? <laughs> um... Could really use some more of this. Go ahead, do that. Just go and spend all the points then. Manhattan Raiders. Yeah, I guess we do that too. Energy weapons we're kind of okay with. Give them more power armor. I think that'd just be best. Does it matter how much deployment points we actually have though? I want to give them the best possible shot. So, ooh, that is not good. You guys stop training for now. Health on studies. Oh, do scour the waste or scout the waste. A uh, proper scouting expedition shall be given or sent to all corners of what was once a custody. In the interest of gathering information around the various organized savages that we may face down here, 
Yeah, we definitely need more compliance right now. Because look at that resistance. Holy cow. Compliance goes up so slowly. Old World Blues is so much faster. And this is the only one that gives you the... This, this one gives you the max amount of compliance, so we basically have to do it. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, that hurts. Oh, look how high that resistance can get. But once we get a buttload more compliance, that'll, that'll definitely help out. Yeah, clay working, not bad, not bad. Now let's grab some more of this. Seed selection is always pretty good. Let's get out of the way, so we're about halfway done, and then... Yeah, okay. So we're missing like 400 guns. Oh my goodness, so bad. Yeah, it's still... Is it still going up? Well, once the focus is done, we'll be okay. Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, infantry is nice and all, but it's not really super necessary right now. I'll cut it down to maybe one more. Really, we should only be pushing with power armor, but that's just... Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe not. More energy weapons, surgical strikes, even more? That's not bad. Waste on survey results. Our reconnaissance units return from the mission to the surface. The information that Gabriel proves what we've always known, that none of us or none of the roving bands of animals below stand a chance against the might of our military. Their factories are barely held together with duct tape. The guns are little more than welded together pipes. And their non-combatants are barely living day to day. Most of the governments are barely organized with a great deal of internal conflict. And raiders occupy much of the land. How could they ever hope to compare to our might and glory? In all likelihood, they will see their lives only improve under our rule. Breakout wartime technology... I, man, we need some cores. More deployment points every month. Duck and cover. Final preparations. We get 600 more pony power. Build up the swamp. More ma pony power, pony power. Yeah. Hmm. Lightning warfare, energy weapons. There's not really a lot here. I'll do military reforms. Our military's command is largely full of old fools who stubbornly cling on to outdated doctrines. If we wish to create the most fearsome army, this is what the world has ever seen. We must start by getting rid of those who would hold us back. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do whatever we can to get more, um... Political... Oh, not political power. Pony power. So... Yeah, we definitely going to need some pony power. Some serious amount of pony power. And we could do race-specific stuff, but we're not even going to use that stuff just because... Like, we're using power armor. So, I want to really max out power armor. Warmonger, more war sports, not bad research speeds. We've already seen this stuff already. Yeah, civilian stuff, man. We'll probably choose greasers, because we get more max speed, so that'd be probably pretty good. Can we build anything yet? No, we cannot. That really sucks. Request soldiers. Yeah, I, if this is the only way we can do it, then so be it. Just give me whatever we got. Military reforms. Let's go ahead and do this one. Revive Pegasus warrior culture. The ancient Pegasus were without fear or hesitation. They were fully loyal and would unquestioningly charge headfirst into enemy forces on their fellow, on the commander's orders. This ideal of fighting for your country and your fellow ponies is an admirable one. It would be of great benefit to us if we revived it today. Hmm. I don't want to lose stability. I just don't want to lose stability, at the especially at the cost of war sport. As much as I love stability, but still. Army group north. Oh. Army Group Center. Yeah, we gotta focus a little bit more on Army Group North, because that's looking not too bad, so... That's fine. Army Group Center. That's not too bad, either. I'm gonna give them as many divisions as possible. Oh, what happened? Oh, there they go. I think, yeah, divisions are probably the most important thing we can do for them. You can only get .75 every day. Like, with these guys doing whatever they need to do... Like, this will be a massive military for them. Is this looking any better? It's slowly look getting worse. Slow. Uh, it's looking technically better, but still. Marching fire. Let's grab some hit and run. I like it. We have enough support equipment, but we do need to make some doggerinos. Improved tools. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab some construction, even though we... I don't think we can still build anything, so... Compliance, though, looking... Looking better. We've maxed out there is always oh, sort of maxed out the resistance, but it's not looking great. Request soldiers. Yeah, going to oh. Oh, we're out of oh crap, we're out of deployment points. Well, that's not good. These guys are definitely is not as strong as these guys, but still not too bad. Eight deployment points. I will definitely want to get down here as fast as possible. But 
I do want to get some more compliance too. So break out the wartime technology. There are several armies scattered throughout the clouds holding reserve equipment, intended to be used in the event of a war. The town has come to at last break out of this equip break out this equipment and for use of pacifying the surface, which is probably a really good thing to do. Indeed it is. I really want all these people here with us to help us out. Recon bonus when entrenched. I like the angry of the world. I really like that one. Oh, cloud, a cloud economy is not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'd love to come over here, but we got to get rid of our thing, oh, Bob. Can't replace that either. Yeah, captain of industry. I and mean, we can't even build anything. It'd be one thing if we could, but we can't. You know. Hmm. Power armor. It's just only that's only more speeds. That's not even super great. We're doing that, which is good. Let's get some automation. No more cap would be nice. Power armor, even more power armor. Initiative, speed. Uh, Pegasi, division speed goes up. Pegasi, Pegasi. No. Yeah. I'm gonna go with power armored. Powered or powered armor. After this, we'll probably go surgical strikes for max out compliance. Our scouts managed to identify high priority targets, makeshift armories, pathetic excuses for ports, and centers of what could vaguely be considered industry. These will prove primary targets once Operation Cauterize begins. We've got a little bit more equipment, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. So we'll get that stuff done. Uh, we're gonna need more guns right now. And soldiers, thank you. Seed selection, not bad. Let's grab some plant cultivation. Having five research slots is definitely better, though. And how many deployment points do we have? We have... well. Eight. We have nine in total. What do we currently have? Well, that's not bad. It's getting better. Airships are looking better as well. Is it possible for us to build? I don't mind maybe trying to get a civilian factory. So, oopsie. Well, that's a production line. Oh, well. That's all right. We could use it. We could just use more planes. Hit and run. is great. Let's grab some walking tanks. Oh, let's grab this one. Let's just go with Army Doctrine for now. That's just worth it. How many are we missing? Ten. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Fifteen days-ish. After this, we'll do the first wave of volunteers, because I want to get to the second wave as well. So, Pegasi are lining up to join our great military. They seek nothing more than to fight, and if need be, die for the country and their fellow Pegasi. And we're more than glad to accept them. Very good, because we need as many Dipple Points as possible. Whew. Give me more Dipple Points. More, 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 more. Now, this is looking not too bad. We even have some fighters, too. Well, actually, do we really need fighters? Honestly, not really, so. Thank you. We can only make five a year. 5.7 is so tiny. This is definitely an uphill battle, but whatever. Uh, you guys can actually go ahead and start finish training. I don't want to expand the division count or the division, you know, combat width because we don't have enough guns yet. We're doing okay on infantry armor, actually. Sovereign Imperial Republic of Fortopia. Huh. Valley Tribe. Okay. Fortopia. Oh, Fortopia. Go oh, next up. We're going to go with second wave volunteers. Even more Pegasi desire to do their duty and serve a great nation. If that's what they wish, who are we to stop them? That should be good. And we got two days left, a single day left, now zero day left, and there we go. Good. Give us more firearms, give us more soldiers. We got 20 here. Um, give me more of this. I want to see if we can actually build up an industry. We still have zero. Oh, 38% of the number. Oh, man, that's not good. Left mark. Keep doing more soft attack. That'd be good. Mm, we could, uh, we can't even do that since we have no civilian factories, which sucks, but whatever. Bolt Valley Tribe. Throw more divisions on there, that's fine. These guys definitely need more guys. That'll be nice. Ten deployment points. Oh, Vision of Unity. Oh boy, what happened here? Um, this one, oh, this one happened. The matter of the goddess, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. But a vision of unity. Counselor Hobbinger sat down and enjoyed a nice steaming cup of artificial coffee. This was nice, sitting, just sitting here, not worrying about anything. In an hour, he'd 
be in yet another meeting, arguing about useless nonsense that had no real impact on the day-to-day -day operations in the Enclave. For now, though, he could just relax. Suddenly, his relaxation was disturbed by a headache. At first, it was a little more than a minor annoyance. After around a minute, though, it began to grow more and more fierce, creating a pounding sensation within his skull. It only continued to go worse until Hovinger threw himself to the floor and pressed his hooves against his head. For that moment, his existence was a little more than pain. A moment later, a multitude of voices shouted within his skull, cutting through the pain like a knife through a kidney. Ooh. They all spoke in unison, as if they were one being, but with the voice of a great many beings. We are unity. A moment's pause before the pain continued. The future of pony kind. An image was quickly thrusted through Hovinger's mind, one of rolling green plains and grand cities occupied only by ponies with both wings and horns. You shall help us. Instructions were quickly forced into his head, and the exact words he must say to his peers. Any thoughts he might have had against such an idea were quickly drowned out with a foreign will imposing on his own. He was to do as commanded. He was to serve unity as its herald. If he did, a bright future awaited him of one adjoining as in unity. As one in unity. As swiftly as it had come, the pain was gone, and new clarity stood in its place, and Hobbinger finally knew his purpose in life. Those rolling green fields would be for him, and those grand cities would be where he lived. A beautiful future await his... No, 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 this wasn't right. Something was wrong. That wasn't him. These were his thoughts. He had to resist. He had to break free of this curse. Serve unity. Will join us in Operation Cauterize should we launch it. If you're not on a path that leads to Cauterize, choosing this outcome will be your only detriment. Oh, I don't know. Which one do we do? I don't mind if Unity helps us, but... Oh, man. Is that worth it? I mean, we're leading to Cauterize, so... I mean, that's what we're doing. Join us in Operation Cauterize should we launch it. If you're not, you, this will be your... Choosing this outcome will only be to your detriment. Yeah, we're doing it, so I guess... Maybe? Maybe that's the wrong idea to do that? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> so we have purity. Are we... We're, we're technically the Enclave. We should probably really do that. Air superiority, 5%. 5% more breakthrough for the entire army. This really hurts us, though. 10% more. Principle. I like that recon. I really like this stuff over here, too. But I think we'd probably go with purity. Non-discriminatory targeting. I'm thinking that's probably the best way. Whenever I play this campaign again as Navarro. I'll probably choose the other side. So we'll see what happens. No promises? No promises. Let's grab some vacuum tubes next. Followed with... Uh, this stuff. Duck and cover. Uh, equipment. That's not bad over here. Uh, what do we want? Actually, I kind of want to do this one over here and see what happens. Funds for public works. The great city of New Cloudsdale. New Cloudsdale is one of the largest and finest cities within the Enclave. To help further increase its grandeur, the, city the city's industrial sector will be expanded. That's nice. That's very good. So how many guns we got now? 600? No, that's 600 infantry armor. 300 guns. It's not a lot. It really ain't a lot. We have 13 deployment points. Additional production lines. Oh, we're looking okay on pony power for now. Eight. Armor group center. Production incentives are not bad. Um, hmm. Just more power armor. I don't know how many... I keep throwing on more and more... What is this? Power armor. Settle... Oh, settle Pegasi. Establishes a surface base where we will settle eager Pegasi to better control the land. Really increase our local manpower and compliance gain. Why not? We'll try it. Metalworking? Cool. Basic tools? Why not? Do you have any other decisions like that? Oh, yeah, down here. So what is this looking like? 100%? Cool. And we get another one probably around here, maybe-ish. Let's grab another... Maybe infantry division. How much does this cost? Seven deployment points. I'm going to go ahead and request some more for us. Cool. Request more soldiers. We can get another arms workshop. You must build. Lots and lots of building. Red Eye Slavers, Frisian Tribes, so be it. Nothing else over here. Okay. Plant cultivation is nice. Steam powered extraction. I'm gonna do that just in case for the future. Because we can. Actually, that, no, never mind. That takes way too long. Grab some training programs, because we'll use these for quite a while. Once we get enough of them, of course. Fun projects for the military. Offer stuff. Stability, war support, more max factories, construction speed goes down. Um, civilian stuff is so nice to get. Arms workshops. It's just pretty much both. Uh, we could do that. Less research speed, more attack. I like that. It's not bad. Build up a strategic reserve. Cloud logistics looks so good. 
I think I'll just continue going down this path. Let's see. Let's do funding for public works. While the military is certainly important, we can't entirely discount the importance of civilian industry either. An effort should be made to expand our consumer production so as to help ensure that, that the needs of our people are met. Other comments included in Old World Blues. I should play as a Maxim chapter. Yes, I will eventually. I'm actually looking at them right now a little bit, so I'm very interested in playing as a Maxim chapter. So, yeah. And keep using Raptors. Raptors are really, really good, apparently. And we will keep using them, so. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna wait till we have like a thousand guns in reserve, because it's just best to wait. Oh, new Merways fighting the Neo Castle Guilds, huh? Can we actually build anything yet? Oh my gosh. We can't. I don't think we'll be able to. Give me more firearms for now. Eleven. Throw more on there. Neurotoxins. Let's grab some headset radios and get one more focus done first. One more focus. This feels exactly just like how Old World Blues, when you spawn in as Enclave and take out New Reno in that mod. Like, we took out basically New Reno, and now, well, we're, get, we're pretty close to the NCR. The Provisional Republic of Azuria, the NCR, basically. Cool, and let's finish this off with another focus. Actually, I do want to get the Monument of Heroes. It's more stability and more support. So, a grand monument shall be built to honor all those who have ever given their lives to protect the Enclave. These heroes shall be honored for the rest of time for the valiant sacrifices. Now, normally I make these episodes a little bit longer, but unfortunately I can't do that today. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up in another war and do our best to not die. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.